Hey everybody, Max Kevin here, it's Living Cutie Podcast, not too long. Oh, uh, I don't know if you guys have been uh, been paying attention, there's been, there's been a lot of uh, internet drama going on recently, you know, of course there's the uh, the Twitter drama, you know, Elon Musk, he took over Twitter and now he, now he can't make... Anyway, uh, so there's this other website, I don't know if you guys ever heard of it, you know, uh, it's called Reddit, it's uh, one of the, I guess it's one of the top, top 10, top 5 most used websites. Up there with Facebook, you know. It's up there with Facebook and YouTube and do to do to do But the one big difference between Facebook and YouTube and Reddit is uh, Reddit doesn't make any money. Nor have they ever made any money. Never been profitable. And uh, they're about to IPO this year, you know. They're about to start selling stock on their company that has never made a profit. Ever. So, uh, be sure to load up on that stock. You know, anyway, um. So of course, uh, so if you don't know what Reddit is, it's basically a uh, it's a website aggregator. So it's a, it's a website to post links to other websites. Basically, what it is, you know. So like you can you can post pictures, you can post movies, you can just write little chats, you can just chat. It's also a chat form, you know. There's also basically a chat form, you know. So, but basically, you know, it's actually got some good. Uh, there's some good parts because basically it's it's all user made, you know. You can have a little section. They're called subreddits, you know, little little area for you and your people, you know, like uh, I'm an Angels fan, the Angels baseball fan, you know, so there's a subreddit for Angels baseball fans, you know, and there's one for movies and there's one for music and, you know, there's, you know, you can make, anyone can make a little uh, subreddit there and uh, with their own topic there. And if you make it, you get to be the moderator of it, you know, you get to be the master, the master and commander, you know. So anyway, this website was made like uh, 20 years ago, 15 years ago, right? And uh, the original, I think the original guy... Maybe they sold it. I can't remember exactly. But uh, anyway, uh, so a lot of these people that, that moderate these uh, these subreddits, you know, they don't get paid. It's just they do it for their free time. And, uh, you know, a lot of them are, are you know, really, uh, really busy there, you know. A lot of these subreddits, you know, they have like 10 million subscribers, you know. So you got to, if you're a moderator, you gotta, there's a lot of work you got to do, you know. And you don't get paid for it, you know. And so, like, why the fuck would anyone do this? You know, just like. You know, make, make sure no people spam your thing with porn or whatever. You know, with kitty porn, you got to delete all the kitty porn. You know, and uh, well, you know. So the question is, why would anyone do this? And why would you spend your time doing this? You know, and the an- the answer is because uh, you have power, right? You have you have power to block users and delete comments, right? And uh, and uh, you know, people like having power, especially when they're fucking useless. You know, so anyway, um, uh, that's. That's that's uh, not the main point I'm making, but that's just part of the point I'm making. And of course, uh, f- famously, uh, one of the uh, the moderators for the subreddit uh, Anti Work, which was a place for teenagers to complain about how they don't have any skills and don't make any money. Uh, one of the uh, moderators of that sub uh, sort of went on TV to talk about uh, how they don't want to work at all, you know. And uh, well, they were a giant fat loser. And just Im- imagine exactly how you would imagine uh, a moderator would work. And uh, when the uh, when the uh, news anchor asked this moderator what he did for a living, he uh, he said he was a dog walker, and he should he should he uh, he believed he should earn a living wage from being a dog walker. So he wants to make I don't know fifty grand a year walking dogs. It's like oh, all right, well that's uh, you know we could probably get a robot to do that. I'm not exactly sure that's a productive job, you know. Okay, hey, kids, here's a little thing about economics and minimum wage is uh, jobs need to be productive. Like if you have a job that only produces $10 of productivity an hour, that job cannot have a salary that's more than $10, you know? You can't, you know, you know what I mean? It's like you can't, you can't eat more hamburgers than you cook, you know? It's like if you can cook 10 hamburgers in an hour, you can only eat 10 hamburgers, you know? Let's assume you can't eat raw, raw meat, you know? You can't eat 15 hamburgers if you only cook 10. All right, does that make sense? You can't have, if you have a pizza that's sliced into eight slices, you can't eat 12 slices if there's only eight slices. Does that make sense for the fatties out there? If you don't understand economics, you can understand fat, fatnomics, right? You can't eat more pizza than exists, all right? And you can't have a salary that's higher than your productivity, okay? Basic economics. This is why the minimum wage is fucking dumb. Because basically what it does is it eliminates all jobs that don't have a productivity over the over the wage job, you know. And uh, it also, of course, it eliminates uh, internships. And, you know, instead of going to college, you know, kids could just go 
work at companies for four years and gain some goddamn skills for free be out of, not have any debt oh but we can't do that because we have minimum wage laws oopsies oopsies oopsie poopsies economics is bad economic bad economics is fucking up the world you know anyway so um so basically the uh the website there uh it's full of these moderators that are just all giant losers who have no jobs and just basically you know beat off to banning people and uh yeah, it's basically, I mean, the whole website itself is basically like a communist propaganda website. Like, I think, I'm pretty sure China, a Chinese company owns it now. And if you ever go to the website, like in the news or the politics or whatever, it's all fucking left, not even left-wing, like full-blown communist. It's basically a full-blown communist website. So, like, b- b- what's great about Reddit is you don't actually have to look at those. You know, you can just, un- you can just like, mute mute those subreddits so you don't have to look at the communist propaganda all the time. And, uh, okay, just for, for, for an example, like, I'm subscribed to the uh, Joe Rogan subreddit, which is supposed to be, uh, you know, a place for fans of Joe Rogan, but it's basically only people that hate Joe Rogan, you know? And, uh, you know, that's, uh, of course, that's another thing, is you don't know if these are actually real people or just bots. You know, these could all just be Chinese bots uh, spreading propaganda all over the internet, which is, you know, probably also likely that, you know, you, can, you can't trust any, anything you read online. That's one thing, you know? All these news agencies are like, oh, all these people are saying online, but it's, it's probably just bots, you know? They, they, the whole propaganda news media narrative, they just create these narratives. They're like, oh, did you see what these people are saying online? It's like, well, what people? Okay, first off, if they're real people, they're probably giant fucking losers. But there's probably no real people. They're probably just bots. They're probably just Chinese propaganda bots, you know? And, uh, which, okay, which I also just want to say again, if, if you don't remember, in the 2016 election there, you know, m- most of the... Russian and Chinese uh, paid advertisements on Facebook were not supporting either candidate either way. They were just trying to start fights, right? <laughs> That's what Russian and Chinese propaganda bots do. They just try to start fights online and create controversy, right? And, um, uh, yeah, so that's basically what this what this uh, website Reddit is. It's like a communist propaganda website. And, um, and uh, they're not making any money, of course, you know, because, uh, well, communism can't really make too much money, you know. They don't really uh, divide their labor efficiently, you know. So anyway, um, and there's a lot of, like, uh, uh, they're called third-party apps, you know. It's like an app on your phone that you use to view this website, but it's not made by the actual website. It's just, a, you know, it's a third-party app, you know. And, uh, and a lot of people like these things because they add more features and stuff, you know. And uh, But the thing is, like, uh, a lot of these third-party apps, they're... Uh, you know, every time they access the website, you know, they got, uh, the Reddit website has to pay for that bandwidth, you know? It, it costs them money. You know, these other people are making apps to view their website, but it, it costs them money. It's costing them money, right? So, uh, of course, Reddit is losing money. As I said in the beginning, they're losing money all the time. They're not profitable, you know? And then uh, recently what they did is uh, they, uh, they increased their API fees, which is basically the... the m- they're charging money to these third-party apps for using their data, which is basically what they're doing. And uh, and uh, the the whole controversy is they're they're charging too much money. They're charging too much money for these. Their API fees are too much. They're prohibitive prohibitively expensive, right? So it's like the the one app uh, I can't remember the name of the app, but basically the guy was saying like it would cost him like a million dollars a month or something with the new with the new fees. He, his, his, uh, to run his uh, third-party program would cost him like a million dollars a month. So, of course, he can't do that, so he has to shut it down. You know, so a lot of people are saying that they basically wanted, they didn't want this third-party app because it makes their app look look bad, you know, because the, the user interface is better on these third-party ones. You know, it's, it's better than the, than the first-party ones, which, uh, oh, yeah, that's another thing. Like, Reddit designed, redesigned their layout of their website like five years ago, and it looked fucking awful. The, the old the old design was great and they you know if it if it's if it's not broke don't fix it is a common uh saying and they decided uh well it wasn't broken but they tried to fix it and the new design is just fucking terrible it's so goddamn terrible you know so no one uses it you know and anyway so this third party app made all, made a, its new user interface and everyone liked it you know but uh it's costing the company money you know the company is losing money uh, because people are using this third party app it's it's taking a lot of data it's taking their bandwidth to it you know, and uh, and so they got to charge money for it. You know, makes sense. You know, 
And of course, people are saying, well, they charge too much. You know, they're charging like 10 times more than it's actually costing them. No, they're trying to make fucking profit. Those fucking bastards, don't they know? We're supposed to live in a communist society with no profit where everyone just helps each other because they love each other because we're fucking humans, dude. You can't be charging profit, dude. You know, uh, so, uh, uh, yeah, and then, uh, I don't know, there was some, like some back and forth emails between these app developers and the CEO of Reddit, you know, and like, I don't know what exactly happened there, but, uh, you know, uh, oh, this pissed off the moderators. This pissed off the fat loser moderators, the fat loser communist moderators of all the uh, subreddits, you know, there. And so they decided to get together and protest. Like, hey, we're going to protest you tr losing money. We don't, we're, we're going to protest you trying to make money. We don't want, we don't want you to make money. We want you to con con continue losing money. Ah, so, so what they did is they, uh, you know, they turned all their subreddits private, right? So no one could actually view them, right? And uh, as a form of protest, you know, because that's going to actually, that's going to actually uh, make the CEOs, I guess, uh, not want to make money anymore, you know? And uh, so, ba you know, basically uh, the, uh, the runners of the website, basically they're just kicking off all these admins or all the, all the moderators, you know, they're, uh, they're banning their accounts or whatever, you know, trying to get new moderators, you know, so everyone, everyone's in a hubaloo, all the, all the, all the communist teenagers with no jobs and no skills that all they do is complain all day. They're all in a hubaloo. They're like, you can't do this. You can't do it. What are you doing? You're trying to make a profit. You can't do it. No, I'm 19 years old. All right? I don't go to college. All right? I fail all my math classes. I don't know. My mommy hates me. You know, anyway, also. Oh, and it, oh, God. It's just the irony is hilarious, you know, because like <laughs> this, this website, Reddit, is it's basically, you know, communist propaganda website, and they're not making any money because they're a communist propaganda website, and they can't convince their users to allow them to make money because all their users are communists, and they don't believe in profit. And it's like, oh, oops, oopsies. Maybe we shouldn't have made our, our website a communist propaganda website because because now everyone that uses it doesn't believe in profit, and now we don't make any profit, and we're trying to IPO, and no one's going to buy our stock if we don't make any profit. It's not like, oh, the irony. Oh, the irony. Oh, the irony. Oh, anyway, uh, communism, uh, it's a giant fucking failure, I guess. Fucking Karl Marx never had a job. Goddamn Angles just gave him money to suck his dick. Oh, oh, um, any hood, any hood, uh, I guess that's all I have to say about that, I guess I, I guess that's all I have to say about that, you know, it, it reminds me of my video, uh, what was it called, uh, bottle rocket up the butt goes wrong, <laughs> this is like a, this is like a metaphor, bottle rocket up the butt goes wrong is like a metaphor for this whole situation. It's like, what did you think was going to happen? You put that bottle rocket up your ass. You know, in, in this case, the ass is the website and the bottle rocket is the, is the, is the communist teenagers that work on the website for free. You know, they complain all the time. And it's like, well, what did you think was going to happen? You think you can make a profit? I don't know about that. I don't know. Anyway, if that stock IPOs, be sure to short it. Buy puts. It's going downhill. Fucking Reddit, dude. Fucking Reddit, dude. You know, anyway, thanks for listening. We'll see you tomorrow.